I think this is my first time in a, an Andover golf cart. All right, everybody, what? hold on tight. Who wears a red sweater? Where are you going, man? I don't know, I'm trying to find you. Yeah. Well, hop on. So yeah. we had two on you for wearing a red just, sweater. I was just going to... Just want to introduce our new friend from Class of 97 who's wearing a red sweater who is Andover 25th reunion. Oops. And when you were a student here, did you, um, did you kind of toe the straight line or did you have some discipline situations or how'd it go for you? Uh, well, the, the biggest discipline situation we had is seven of us senior year decided to paint the Exeter Stadium blue. So we drove up to Exeter and I think we ended up in a cesspool or a septic or something. And there was a woman who I think had spent 50 years looking out the window hoping to capture seven kids okay. trying to make the stadium. Yeah. So she called the cops, so we got nowhere close. And they put us in jail, or, and then Peter McKee, who was the dean of students, had, right. to, had to bail us out. But we became known as the end over seven of the New York Times, so it was very exciting. You got covered in the New York Times? Yeah, we, uh, the end over seven. And that was probably your first cover to the New York Times. You've since been covered in the New York Times. Yeah. <laughs> But that was my favorite time. But they don't reference that, probably. No, they don't. I wish they did. <laughs> yeah, that would make for a better story. But I was... We're trying to help um, Exeter with some new slogans for their school. Yes. So, um, I'm wondering if you want to brainstorm with me a little bit. Exeter, the Andover of the North. Exeter, almost as good as Andover. But not? But not. Exeter, dot, 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 what? <laughs> Exeter. Your safety school. So I used to sneak out of my uh, dorm almost nightly because I had a fire escape. But, so um, you sneak out of the fire escape. Well, you don't sneak out. You, I you climb out. Climb out. And then it was either me and my roommate would go, Brent Oswald, class of 92, would go to the observatory because he was in charge of the observatory. And we would look at galaxies. I love that you sneak out of a dorm. <laughs> That's so Andover. To go look you didn't sneak out of the dorm for shenanigans. You snuck out of the dorm to really break into the observatory. What do you think might be at the bottom of the pond? A okay. good potty! No. Isabel, I enjoy you. <laughs> Did you ever use the nap room at Aisha? I mean, I think you didn't go to Andover if you didn't use the nap room. Yeah. I, I definitely made use of the nap room. You did? Yes. And was it for real purposes or uh, was it to avoid something? It was to avoid things sometimes. The nap room was the best place ever. It was also an like equal opportunity in a egalitarian place where it was like the star athlete PG and like the normal freshmen all taking naps as needed. Welcome back. They moved the uh, the Abbott sculpture down here. Huh? Yes, they did. Is Are it, you happy uh, to see it, though? I'm, I'm happy it's still here. I, I think it's hilarious that they moved it. <laughs> I drove some small children around, and they said that they think it's a dog's tail. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's not what that is at all, for sure. Do you feel... Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we might have lost them. Sorry. We'll have to cut this part out. I feel like you just earned that cool tattoo that's on your arm by being tossed off of the golf cart. <laughs> Someone may or may not have fallen off the golf cart so far today, but only one person. Hold on. This feeling of magic that you experience so early on. You come into Andover, from whatever context you were in before, into a, a place that's been around so much longer than you, and that will likely be around for so much longer as well, and you get to make that experience your own. Thanks for coming!